hello guys and welcome back to our today's video and thank you so much for tuning in and if you are new here kindly don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join our family which is sussex squared forever always here to just show support to harry and megan because the things that they went through over the years they didn't deserve even a single bit of that particular treatment that they received from that particular toxic environment it really was a tough journey for them but the good thing is everything that they went through it was kind of helping them to even become strong and that's why at the moment they are where they are at because they chose to stay focused. They chose freedom. They chose love. They chose happiness. They chose one another and just made the right decision of just protecting their mental health, protecting their kids, protecting themselves from that particular toxic, toxic environment. And uh, it's always started what goes around comes around. And when karma just decides to allocate you, trust me, there's nothing you can do about it. Just kind of trying to go back uh, when uh, Duchess Megan got married to that particular institution. There was this whole story of, you know what, why is it that it's always Harry and Megan on the spotlight? Because even the UK press themselves couldn't just get their focus out of the success and haven't always just targeted Duchess Megan. They haven't always come to that acceptance that one of their own, that is Prince Harry, chooses her wife than any other person. That Harry got married to a biracial woman. This is one thing like up to date kind of just frustrates them. They just can't come to acceptance that Harry made the right decision ever. And where it kind of even knocks them away heard is to that point whereby they thought by them tormenting, traumatizing, kind of trolling on them day in, day out, they won't be able to sustain it. And I remember yesterday doing a video here and having stated that each and every single thing that they did to the late Princess Diana was nowhere further to what they, they did exact thing to the one and only Duchess of Sussex. But one thing we are so happy about is the fact that they are out of that particular toxic institution and now living a free life able to express whatever they want, able to make moves, able to do what they feel is right and best for the sake of their own selves. At the moment, what is so much surrounded uh, in between the British royal family is nothing but jealous. There are so much, they have been, first of all, William has been jealous over Harry over the years. He's always wanted what Harry has been able to gain, what Harry has been able to accomplish, even without working for it. He's always been in that particular front line of wanting to just kind of acquire the same. And it's so obvious that William got married to one of the laziest people, if I'm to say, and both of them are kind of combined and they've shown us how lazy they are. Personally, I refer to them as lazy brothers. And yes, indeed, they are. Because trying to compare what they've been able to do as working royals and trying to compare what Harry and Meghan have done out here, trust me, you, Harry and Meghan are way far more ahead than them. This is one thing like we don't even have to debate about. It's so obvious, it's out here in public that Harry and Meghan are doing way much beyond than what is even expected of them. There are things they, they shouldn't be doing, but the fact that they've prioritized humanity, the fact that they've chose to support people out here, that's one thing like kind of just keeps them going day in, day out. Somebody tweeted and said, in the farm, you will always find senior royals jealous of each other. They were jealous of Megan's star power, so they bullied her out of the institution. Now look what's happening to Kit. Charles doesn't like the tabloids putting her on front pages and put scandals so she is not sin. It's the same way they had so much issues with Duchess Megan always been on the front cover pages. And you know, it was so funny. There are so much jealous. The fact that Duchess Megan gets attention and the attention she gets, it's not that it's a positive attention. No, the UK press were always on her neck, always try to just 
turn positivity to negativity always start rumors about you always just kind of bring things that literally just don't add up but still they felt as if megan was outshining them we just came to realize just the other day william doesn't like going to certain events with cat simply because he also doesn't love the fact that when he is out with uh, the wife it's the wife kind of now getting attention because people will be so much focused on uh, her hair people will be so much focused on what she's wearing knowing very well that she has a terrible fashion sense and uh, people forget that even prince william is there just gotten to realize that you know what charles also feels as if william and cat are kind of trying to outdo or outshine him the fact that at the moment people are so much focused not even people like it's very very small media outlets that are so much focused on them trust me you it's not adding up at all because i'm like this is just too much because why do you have to kind of just focus on somebody who because the focus at which these people have diverted to harry and megan is just so much you can't even explain more than it because the red at which these people are so much focused on the Sussexes, yet they are out of that continent, just explains a lot. And I believe they are, so they are supposed to be focused on their so-called working royals who are at the moment kind of trying to fight one another because of this so-called thing who is out there kind of trying to outdo or outshine the other person. Such things that literally just don't make sense at all. But they think uh, they do these things. And uh, it's so embarrassing. Personally, I find it so shameful having such conversations or having such fights, having just coming out from the so-called working royals. These are ruling people. They're supposed to have done way much better than this. Because trust me, you, the way they are acting is just something else. They don't deserve that particular title of them being working uh, royals cause they are doing nothing to be precise and the fact that now there's this whole thing i bet even like harry and megan had for sin or had seen what is awaiting ahead and that's why i always thank god the fact that they made the decision of living that particular country trust me you that's the best part of it all that's the amazing, amazing bet of it all. Because I believe and I believe Harry and Meghan are the best thing that would have happened to that particular royal family. If they were still working royals to date, they would have made way much difference. It's because that particular institution never appreciated them, never acknowledged them, never showed support to them. They never and that whole thing kind of just leaves them just kind of stunned because the rat at which the rat at which trust me you it's not working it's not working at all because uh, the envious the jealous between them is kind of now happening to them because they are now fighting themselves for the so-called thing attention the hour that they are so much good at doing but they don't see that at all they are so much at their comfort zone not serving people as expected thus just leaves us leaves us with a lot a lot of questions somebody commented over the same and said that all the candle trick abuse is abuse can't allow the abuse to happen to megan her fans and family did everything in their own, in their power to hurt Princess Megan and her babies. Well, Kat didn't support Princess Megan. So now let's see her uncle and mother dig out, her, dig her out of that particular hole. It's not going to happen because they did things without giving a second thought. If at the nearer future, it was going to affect them, whether positively or negatively. They did things just wanting to kind of just, you know, be the ones on the spotlight. They did things so wrong. And trust me, you, a time is coming whereby they'll be the ones kind of just fighting themselves it has started and i believe it's going to get worse and i've always stated charles has failed as a father as a leader as a 
as as a grandfather he's failed in so many ways and it will be best if he just sits down and kind of calls himself to a meeting and bring his old household into class before things get even worse than the way they are at this particular juncture i don't know what are some of your thoughts over this kindly just leave your comments and thoughts down below and that was our today's video and thank you so much for tuning in and see you guys in our next video